NFT is short for non-fungible token, but it doesn't make it much clearer because we don't use words like non-fungible in our everyday life. Non-fungible means unique, like you are unique, you have your own characteristic and charisma, there is nobody like you and nobody can replace you. You are non-fungible. On the other hand, a brand new cell phone, iPhone X, is the same as a brand new iPhone X that somebody else has. The same characteristic, same feature, one can replace another one. And there is no difference. That's why that is fungible. Now, in the simple word, an NFT is a record or a document with a hash stored on Ethereum that points to where its associated contents live on the internet. It is very expensive to store an image or a file on Ethereum. That's why a pointer is stored instead. All this information lives on the blockchain, which makes sure that nobody can tamper with the data or change it in any way. What makes an NFT unique is its digital asset tied to the token. This can be an image, video, tweet or piece of music that is uploaded to a marketplace which creates the NFT to be sold. This technology started in 2015 but become a big deal in February of this year. You can copy a digital file as many times as you want, including the art that is with NFT. But NFT are designed to give you something that cannot be copied, and that is the ownership of the work. Although it is very important to note that artists can still retain the copyright and reproduction right, just like with physical artwork. Like anybody can buy a Mona Lisa print, but only one person can own the original. If you are an artist, you might be interested in NFT because it gives you a way to sell your work. Also, NFT has a feature that you can enable and it will pay you a percentage every time an NFT is sold or changes hand, making sure that if your work is super popular, you get some of the benefits. One of the obvious benefits of buying art is it lets you financially support the artists you like, and that is true with NFT as well. Buying an NFT gives you bragging rights that you own the art and it's now on blockchain. A lot of people consider if they should buy NFT. Investing in NFT is largely a personal decision. If you have money to spare, it might be worth considering, especially if the piece holds meaning to you. But keep in mind, NFT's value is based entirely on what somebody else is willing to pay for it. Therefore, demand will drive the price, rather than the fundamental, technical, or economic indicators. This means an NFT can resell for less than what you have paid for. Or you may end up not being able to sell at all if nobody wants to buy it. Also, NFT are subjected to capital gain taxes, just like when you sell stock at a profit. And in addition, the verification processes for the creator and NFT listing are inconsistent across platform. Some are more stringent than others, and some platforms do not require honor verification for NFT listing. Buyer protection appears to be sparse at the best. So when shopping for an NFT, be careful. NFT can be tied to any digital asset. For example, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sold the first ever tweet as an NFT for $2.9 million. New York Times reporter Kevin Ross sold an image of his column about NFT for $560,000. As the hype for NFT grows, expect more digital assets to come up for sale and bring in some good big money. Now, having considered everything, you will think buying an NFT means that you own the asset, right? Nope. That's the real kicker to understanding the whole concept. The person who buys the NFT doesn't own the actual asset. NFT challenges the idea of ownership. Digital files can be reproduced infinitely, and you do not usually buy the copyright or license when purchasing an NFT. For example, a creator of a meme sold NFT for let's say a million dollar. The person who bought the token owns the token, but doesn't actually own the meme. The meme still belongs to the creator who held on to intellectual and creative rights. What the owner of the token has is a record and a hash code showing ownership of the unique token associated with a particular digital asset. People might download the meme and use it on social media if they want, but they wouldn't own the token. They also mean that they cannot sell the token as the owner owns it and only he can do it. That's all for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button, 